Welcome back to my channel, I'm James. Today I've got a brand new episode in my highly requested and very popular video series, Top Upcoming Movies on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray Releases, Big Movie Announcements, Reveals, and Collector's Film Chat number 16 in this video series. And wow, it's incredible to think that this is number 16 in this popular video series. And I'm excited every time I get to dive in and do one of these because there's so many exciting announcements the studios share with me that I get excited to share with all of you little bits of insider studio information and hidden announcements and reveals. Now in this video series, I've done, as I said, 16 of these previously before that you're gonna wanna go check out here on this channel. If you haven't checked out some of the previous announcements in this series, there is tons of hidden reveals and things that a lot of times get missed by folks. So going back and watching any of the previous videos in this video series will give you a ton of these releases that maybe you missed out on that you didn't know were available. So you're gonna wanna check out any of those previous videos and watch some of those, so that way you get to learn about all of these exciting releases. Now for every single one of these videos in this video series, I've done all of the hard work and gathered together all of the links for every single title I cover in this video series. I post them directly below this video as a pinned comment in the comment section right below and in the description section right below. So I've done all of that work for all of you, all of the pre-order and buy links and sale links are all posted right down below. So you don't have to go out there searching for these, trying to find each and every one of them. Click on those. Those never cost you, the viewer, even a penny extra when you click on them and they're on sale for the same prices everywhere. But those do help to support the creation of all of these exclusive videos just a tiny bit. So make sure if you're gonna buy or pre-order any of these releases after you watch my videos, make sure to go down and always use those links I've posted right down below. Now we're gonna start off on September 26th, which is where I ended the last video, but I have a couple additions and kind of like revisions to add to that date. It's coming up here very soon, but briefly, I did talk about Loki, and Loki is one of those that's coming out in a limited edition steelbook set. It's one of the ones that I just recently announced in my previous number 15 reveals video series that thanks to Disney, big thanks to Disney actually, they shared with me some huge reveals and announcements that I exclusively revealed in that video. If you have not checked out that video yet on my YouTube channel, you're gonna wanna go check out that one when you get done with this video. And I'll put a link to it at the end of this video as well so that way you can watch that video. I went actually on location at Disney and got to do the video. It's a very unique video series. And they actually gave me some very exciting, huge announcements and reveals that I shared exclusively in that video. There were six of them that are huge that you're gonna wanna find out about that are coming out. So you'll wanna go check out that video. But I did talk about Loki. Loki is one of those that is not a part of the six that I revealed that are actually exclusive reveals in that video. That was one that others had revealed as well, but Loki I'm very excited for. It is coming out in a limited edition steelbook set. It's a start of Disney's new era of physical media releases. They are starting into a new era of releasing more and more restorations and their Disney Plus content. I talk about it a lot in that video that I previously did. A lot of upcoming announcements that they're going to be releasing of their Disney Plus series in these continuing limited edition steelbook sets. These are truly limited edition. They are going to sell out. Heck, numerous retailers already did sell out. Disney actually released a little bit more of the limited edition 4K sets of these, which I'll put those direct links below, but they are going to sell out again and then they won't be available again. Directly from Disney, they are truly limited edition. They are not going to reprint them again and they're not going to release them again in these limited edition steelbooks. And that's why these are very exciting releases. So I'm looking forward to season one. This is one of those that I'm highly excited for and was a huge announcement I was excited Disney shared, but there's even bigger announcements in that video series. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure to go check that video out. Now I will warn you, in that video I did film on location. I did have some issues actually with some of the noise and sound effects and special effects going on around me. I shared that in that video. That was something I didn't expect and I didn't think I'd have issues with my portable microphones and things. But I did with how incredibly loud it was on location, but it's still a really cool series that I got to do that and Disney allowed that. So you wanna check out that video anyways, but just understand that there was limitations that I wasn't aware of when I was filming on location. One more addition we have to September 26th is Jack Ryan, the complete season three on 4K Ultra HD. Now, this is another one that if you haven't checked out my previous 4K versus Blu-ray exclusive comparison review video, you can only find that exclusively here on my YouTube channel. That video is available right now, season one and two. 
Now, season three, I already have an order to come in, but if you wanna check out the quality of that series on 4K Ultra HD, I did my exclusive image comparisons and pulled the data from all those discs. It's all included in that exclusive review video that I did here on my YouTube channel. But season three is coming out on September 26th in limited edition 4K Ultra HD set as well. Hugely excited for that because I really enjoyed that TV series and I'm glad they're releasing the whole series on 4K Ultra HD now to go along with season one and two that I already own. So that's a very exciting release. And let me know how excited you are for this release. Did you get the original Jack Ryan season one and two already? Have you seen the series? Always start the conversation in the comment section below and let me know what of these you're excited for, what of these you've seen, and what of these you're excited to add to your collection. I always love to hear from all of you. So make sure to start that conversation down there below. Now for the Jack Ryan, that is an exclusive link through Amazon. I put that directly down below. Now moving ahead to October 3rd, we've got a massive day here. We're starting off with Stephen King's The Mist from 2007. This is a great psychological sci-fi horror. I really loved the film. This is a very unique release though. Lionsgate is not releasing just one cut, the theatrical cut of the film. They're actually doing also the black and white version, which has extended scenes and things like that. So we're actually getting two cuts of the film, both on 4K Ultra HD. So Lionsgate went the extra mile to make sure to include both of them and not leave out one cut or the other cut. They're including both cuts of the films for us on 4K, not putting one on Blu-ray, like what Shout sadly has been doing for the last year of just not really had a great experience with a lot of Shout Studios and basically Scream Factory's releases. But this is one of those I'm really glad that Lionsgate went the extra mile for this and I'm really excited for this release. Another big release that I talked about in my big reveal video is Prey. This is another Disney 20th Century Fox, 20th Century Studios release of a streaming service exclusive movie. This is the Predator prequel film. I've heard a lot of great things about this film. I love the Predator series. This is coming out on 4K Ultra HD. Now I do have some exclusive information to share with you. This movie was finished as a digital 4K. So this is coming out as a native 4K 2160p on the 4K disc. And it will have HDR10 and Dolby Atmos. This is one of those that I am really excited to check out. Hopefully I'll get that in a little bit early to dive into and do my analysis and testing on it exclusively here on my channel. It is one I know that's being sent to me early. It's just because of how horrible the mail's been lately. Some of the stuff's been showing up on release date or right afterwards, but it is one I am planning to get on here on this YouTube channel, dive into, test and analyze for you and let you know the quality of that release but I'm really excited about that one. Continuing with October 23rd, we're getting Scream 3, which is the 2000 sequel film. This is coming out from Paramount and it's gonna be released in two different editions. We're gonna get the Steelbook edition and we're gonna get the standard 4K case. I can tell you I've been collecting these all in the Steelbook editions of the Scream films. If you haven't checked out my previous Scream reviews, I've done numerous of them here on my YouTube channel. If you wanna know the 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison and analysis, you can check out all those previous Scream reviews I've done exclusively here on my YouTube channel. They're available right now to let you know the quality of what Paramount's been releasing. And I can tell you, they have been doing an amazing job with the Scream series on 4K. But you'll wanna check out those videos here on this YouTube channel, but this is one I'm hugely excited for and I am getting it in in the Steelbook edition. I loved the red cover artwork. Let me know which of these you're excited for, the standard case or the Steelbook case. Let me know down below, but I did put both editions, depending on which one you wanna pre-order or buy, I put both direct links down below as well. Now I can tell you for Scream 3, we're also getting it with Dolby Vision and HDR10. So if Paramount continues what they've been doing with their previous Scream 4K releases, this should be another stunning picture quality upgrade over all previous releases. So really excited to check that one out. Now, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go down there, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you never miss out on any of this exciting or exclusive content that you're only gonna find here on my YouTube channel. Continuing with the same day and date we're getting, it came from outer space, the 1953 sci-fi classic film. 
Really excited about this 4K restoration. Universal Studios is doing a brand new 4K scan and 4K restoration for this film. And it's gonna have HDR10 on it. Now I can tell you Universal is doing something unique for this release. They're releasing this in two separate editions. If you follow me on my Twitter, I talked about it here a while back about the two different separate editions. We're getting it actually in a limited edition Universal Essentials collection. They come in a box set very similar to like Aero Video's limited edition 4K releases. It's going to have art cards and basically a booklet in it. It'll have basically a film cell and a bunch of things talking about the film along with the 4K case. That's the Universal Essentials collection that they're releasing in. That is a very limited edition and numbered set. Once they sell out, they're not going to print those again. Then it also is being released in a cheaper, just standard 4K case. That's kind of more the budget release of the film. It's simply gonna have the film in it, none of the extra goodies like the booklet, the film cell, the posters, the art cards, none of that is included in the standard edition. So depending on which one you want, I'll put the direct links down below as a pinned comment for both editions. So depending on which one you're excited to pre-order or buy, they'll both be linked down there below. I'm personally getting the limited edition, basically Universal Essentials collection. I really like those collections and how they're making them extra collectibles with the books and things like that. And I think Universal's onto something really cool and I think they should do that more often for more 4K restorations that they're releasing. So I am looking forward to that release and checking that one out. Continuing October 3rd, we're getting The Black Phone, the 2021 horror film. Now, Universal's releasing this as a limited release. So there's only a select few retailers that will even have this available. Amazon's one of those retailers that's gonna actually have this. I post that link down there below for you. But what's exciting about this 4K release is it's going to have a brand new HDR10 master and it's going to have Dolby Atmos on it. I'm excited to see how that Dolby Atmos works for that horror film. This is one of those I'll be interested to check out and see how it turns out on 4K, but that is one that's fun that's coming out. Continuing October 3rd, we're getting one of my favorite classic films, The Sting from 1973. Now, I previously reviewed The Sting 4K release many years ago when it first came out from Universal. This is in their Universal Essentials collection line. Just like what I talked about with It Came From Outer Space, this is going to be in one of those hard boxes with a booklet as you see above, art cards, film cell, things like that. And this is going to be coming out on 4K Ultra HD. It's already on a standard edition release. So if you already own the previous 4K, the only upgrade you're really getting in this set is all of the swag. The limited edition box set, the book that talks about it, the art cards, posters, things like that. That's what you're getting with this specific release. Now it is one of those I think is a cool collectible because it's numbered. But that is one of those that's coming out that I'm excited for because I absolutely love The Sting as a classic film. I've seen it so many times. And as I previously reviewed it many years ago, I really, really enjoyed the film. Continuing October 3rd, we're getting The Night of the Demons. And this is from 1988. It's a horror film from the 80s. Now this one is getting a new 4K scan of the uncut camera negative with Dolby Vision and HDR10 grading and master. So I'll be interested to see how that one turns out. I was never a huge fan of the film, but it is coming out from Scream Factory. So as I said previously, they've had a really rough and sketchy history this year. I have not been amazed with a lot of their releases. And if you haven't checked out my recent 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison review of Hackers that they released, They've just got some things that I have not enjoyed that they've done on some of their releases, their 4K releases specifically, but you'll wanna go check out that review if you haven't checked it out yet to find out about some of the things they've been doing that have not been so great. But hopefully, like I said, this'll be a good release. If you love movies and TV series, this channel is the place for you. Make sure to go down there, give this video a like and a thumbs up for me, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Moving ahead to October 10th, we've got a huge day and date here. We are getting Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the brand new 4K restoration that Disney is working on. And this is the classic Disney film from 1937. And if you haven't checked out any of my previous 4K versus Blu-ray image comparison reviews of Cinderella and of The Nightmare Before Christmas, Disney's restoration studio has gone through a complete revision. They are doing some amazing reference quality 4K restorations and 4K Ultra HD releases that you must check out. 
Both Cinderella and The Nightmare Before Christmas are some of those that you need to watch those reviews and then you need to support those releases. This is one of those I am hugely excited for. Disney has changed course this year. I talked about it in my previous announcement video that I did at Disney that I recorded that I talked about at the beginning of this video. I talked about a bunch of the things that Disney shared with me, how the studio has changed, it's pivoted away from basically focusing on streaming only. They're going back to supporting us physical media collectors, providing limited edition collections and these amazing restorations. They are reviving their restoration studio and they have plans to bring out more and more of these restorations. Like I said at the beginning of this review, you want to check out that announcement video I made talking about Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel. I talk about a ton of these hidden announcements that were shared with me that Disney is working on and more exciting restorations that are coming out. This is one of those I am thrilled for because I love all of Disney's classic animated catalog of films and live action films. So this is something that I'm hugely excited that they're continuing this and I am hoping this continues their stellar record they've had this year and they continue to release another gorgeous looking restoration. Now, continuing October 10th, we're also getting a Bronx Tale. And this is the 30th anniversary of the film. Basically it came out in 1993 and it's getting a brand new 4K restoration and 4K scan for its 30th anniversary. This is one of those mobster gangster flicks that I absolutely love with Robert De Niro in it. And it is one of those that he had as a personal love letter to those types of films. And Robert De Niro really showed his craft in both acting and filmmaking with this film. It's one of those I highly recommend if you haven't checked out the film. It was not previously released in the US on Blu-ray. So this is the first time it's actually coming out on a 4K Ultra HD restoration. Now I have the Blu-ray from Australia. It was one of the only countries it was even released in. So I'll be curious to see how it compares, but I am really excited about this release because I really enjoy the film. Another horror film from 1968, we're getting Rosemary's Baby from Paramount Studios. And this is its 55th anniversary 4K restoration on 4K Ultra HD. This is one of those horror films that you either love it or you absolutely hate it. So I haven't really found too many people that are kind of in the middle. They absolutely love it or they say they absolutely hate the film. So it's kind of up to you what you think about it, but this is another big 4K restoration. One I'm really excited for is a 1980s horror movie called Pumpkinhead. It actually came out in 1988. And this is getting a brand new 4K scan of the original camera negative with both Dolby Vision and HDR10 on it. I'm really excited to check this out because I personally think the creature effects in it as a creature feature are one of those really awesome ones where you kind of feel like it's a lot of those essences of like aliens because if you don't know this some of the folks that worked on aliens creature feature effects are the same ones that worked on pumpkin head which is why they are so eerie and just awesome looking and this film is one of those that has some amazing 80s special effects kind of like realistic special effects because of like the creatures puppets and all that kind of stuff that really looked awesome. Another release we're getting on the same day and date is another horror film called Megan. Now this film came out in 2022 originally and it was released only on Blu-ray worldwide. Well, Universal is releasing it finally on 4K Ultra HD. Basically a year later, they're releasing it again, but this time on 4K. In this case though, we're getting both the unrated cut and the theatrical cut, which is a very nice addition that we get both. And they're gonna have Dolby Atmos and a brand new HDR10 color grading and master for it. So I'll be excited to check this out because I actually on purpose did not buy the previous Blu-ray because I knew from Universal they were waiting until the next year to release this on 4K. And sadly, I will say Universal has been known for this a lot lately. If they release only a Blu-ray of their basically popular movie, they will release about a year later now it on 4K Ultra HD. So keep that in mind. If they only release a Blu-ray, most likely they're going to release it on 4K a year later if it's a very popular movie that made a lot of money for them. Seems to be they want people to double dip, get the Blu-ray, and then basically a year later buy the 4K. I would prefer them to release them both at the same time at all times, but I kind of get where they're coming from. They're trying to make as much money as possible. It's just one of those things I hate waiting which is what I had to do with Meg, and I waited and didn't buy it on Blu-ray because I knew it was coming out on 4K. But I am excited it's finally coming out on 4K. Another big release rounding out this day that I'm really excited for is Transformers Rise of the Beasts. 
And this is the 2023 Transformers film that kind of continues the newer rebooted version of it that continued after Bumblebee. I really like this kind of new kind of area that they're going with Transformers. I do enjoy the films. They're over the top, just kind of cheesy action, sci-fi fun, but I've always loved the Transformers films. In this case, Paramount is releasing it in two different editions. We're getting a limited edition steelbook that I absolutely love the cover artwork for. I'm showing you that up above. I think the cover artwork is so like cool graffiti and colorful and bright. Very excited about that. And that's actually what I have on order coming in. That's the one I'm excited for. Now they're also releasing a standard edition case. If you don't like to collect steelbooks and you just want the standard case, I'll put both links down below depending on which one you want to order, but it is coming available in two different flavors. Now, moving ahead to October 17th, we're actually getting The Blob from 1988. It's one of my favorite 80s, slightly cheesy horror sci-fi films that works so well. And there's no way to explain it other than it's a wonderfully feeling 80s horror movie that is just not replicated nowadays. Now, I previously announced this in a previous video almost four months ago. In my popular 80s Most Wanted on 4K Ultra HD Movies Releases video series, that video series has been highly requested and very popular. Well, I did part two and I announced that almost four months ago that this was being worked on and was coming out from Shout Scream Factory on 4K Ultra HD. It's a big, exciting release though, and here's why. Even though Scream Factory is releasing it, the actual work on this release was done by Sony. So Sony did a brand new 4K scan and 4K master with new color grading in Dolby Vision and HDR10. So because Sony has an amazing restoration studio already, I am hugely excited for this release because it's actually been done by Sony. It's just Scream and Shout Factory basically are releasing it. It's just the work was already done by Sony. So this is one I am hugely excited for. It's one of those cult classic 80s movies that you've really got to watch and experience. The same day and date we're getting the way we were. Now this is a romantic film with Robert Redford and Barbara Streisand in it. And it came out originally in 1973. It's a very enjoyable film, though I do think it will surprise you. It's one of those films that has some twists in it that kind of surprised you the ending and how it turns out. But that's why it is one of those classic films that I've always really enjoyed because it's not what you expect. Now, for its 50th anniversary, Sony went back and did a brand new 4K scan and 4K restoration for this release. So this is one of those by Sony as well, who does an amazing job. I'm really excited to check this one out and see how this one turns out. And this is one of those films that I do recommend checking out because it is one of those that I do think will surprise you how good the acting and performances were in it and how the story does have some surprising twists and turns in it. Now, rounding out October 17th, I'm sure I'm not gonna say this correctly, but we're gonna get Evangelion. And this is actually 3.0 plus 1.11, thrice upon a time. This is the rebuilt Evangelion movie series that's being released in a very limited edition big box set on 4K Ultra HD. This does have English audio on it, which is a rare thing for this series. I am really excited for this. The animation on it is incredible. The stories are very complex and enjoyable, and I love all of the elements of it. So I was hugely excited when this was announced. Though keep in mind, it is a very expensive series. Because it does come in a big box set with books and multiple discs and different cover artworks, there's a lot that goes into this release and they are always extremely expensive. I've imported them from Japan and the Japan ones don't have any English subtitles or English audio, so it was hard because you really couldn't understand what was going on. This is the first time it's being released this way on 4K with all of that included, English audio, English subtitles, I am hugely excited for this, though keep in mind it's expensive. I am planning on getting it into this YouTube channel. I might do a review on it, let you know the quality of it. And this is the final rebuilt installment of this series where they're doing all of this new stuff for it. Really excited for this huge box set and checking this one out. Let me know if you've ever watched any of these before, if you like any of these Japanime series, any of this kind of, like I said, Japanese animation and kind of diving into them. Let me know your thoughts on those and if you've ever checked any of them out. Moving ahead to October 24th, we have got a massive day and date here. We're getting the others from Criterion Collection. This is the Nicole Kidman horror movie. Now, this one's really unique. This one's getting a director approved 4K restoration. And he's also overseeing and approving the brand new English Dolby Atmos mix. 
I'm in for this film just for the Dolby Atmos mix alone. This is one of those that really surprised me that Criterion Collection announced. Now it is being released by Studio Canal and actually a couple of other countries around the world. Here's the thing. All of the releases are very sketchy on what the contents of them are as far as HDR 10, if they're going to not have HDR at all, Dolby Vision, if they're not going to have it. Every single bit of information, you know, I've seen numerous backs of cover artwork. One will say, hey, it has Dolby Vision. One will say HDR 10. One will say none. So until I get it in my hands, can test and analyze it and get an actual confirmation of what's in the actual data itself, I really can't tell you as far as that, but the Dolby Atmos I am thrilled for and a brand new 4K restoration, can't wait. Because the Blu-ray, man, it's not great. It's okay, but man, this is one of those films if done right, could be an amazing 4K release. Continuing October 24th, we're getting a big release from Kino Lorber in Red Dragon. This continues the Hannibal Lecter series. Now, I always really enjoyed Anthony Hopkins in this series, so I'm glad to have this to kind of round it out. I enjoyed Red Dragon. There's a certain amount of people that want Manhunter. I want that as well, and that is coming. I announced that previously. That is coming out on 4K Ultra HD. It's already being worked on with a 4K restoration, so don't worry that it's coming out. But this is one of those I really enjoyed Red Dragon. I thought it was a great addition to the series. It's not the best in the series. I personally think Silence of the Lambs is the best, but I do really enjoy Red Dragon. So this is one I'm hugely excited is coming out on 4K Ultra HD. And it's getting a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 Master. This should make it look amazing. So I'll be excited to get that in early, dive into that, test that, and review that for all of you here on this channel. That is being sent to me early for review. They already let me know that's being sent to me. So once I get that in, keep an eye out here on my channel. I'll do that early analysis and review to let you know the quality of that release because that's one I'm hugely excited for. Another big 1980s horror film that I'm excited for is Stephen King's Cujo. This came out in 1983. It's a great horror film with a dog and it really has some realistic scary vibes in it, how you see some of these like really aggressive animals when you're walking by people's yards that have gates on them and kind of plays with a lot of that with your mind. This is getting a brand new 4K scan and Dolby Vision Master. This is another one of those I'm really excited to check out. Now, I was told this is being sent to me early for review as well. So this is one, stay tuned to my channel, make sure you're subscribed because I'll have this one coming out on my channel with an early exclusive analysis and review to let you know the quality of that release this is another Stephen King horror movie from the 80s that I really enjoyed, and I hope it turns out well on 4K because it's one that really deserves it. Continuing the 80s, we're getting The Muppets Take Manhattan. Now this is from Frank Oz, the director. This came out in 1984. Sony is doing a brand new 4K restoration of the original camera negatives with a brand new Dolby Vision and HDR10 master and color grading and a brand new Dolby Atmos audio mix. All of these are being supervised and approved by the original director, Frank Oz himself. This is one of those, is it a big announcement. I was thrilled when it was announced by Sony and they let me know they were working on this. As I said, Sony has been one of those studios that has been knocking it out of the park. I hope they continue that trend with this release because this is one of those that I did not ever expect to see on 4K Ultra HD. I'm excited. It's one of those really fun comedy films that Really, if you like the Muppets, this is really one of those that kickstarted how amazing some of their films were. And you gotta check out this film, but this is one I'm really excited for that Frank Oz himself is involved in. Now, staying on the same day and date, we're getting Paramount Scares Volume 1. Now, I just previously announced that here a little while ago on my Twitter account, which is 4K Blu-ray Reviews. If you don't follow me on there, you're gonna wanna follow me. Now, Paramount did reach out to me directly, so Paramount Studios asked if I wanted to review this. I told them yes. So I'm hopeful they're sending that to me early for review. They did say that they're hoping to and that it is one that they wanted to know if I would review as an early exclusive review on my YouTube channel. I said yes and was really excited. This is one of those releases that I was surprised about. Paramount's planning on doing these in volumes. Releasing exclusive releases, these are limited edition sets. So inside these box sets, they're releasing one of the films as an unknown mystery title. Now, there's a lot of speculation about what the title is. Everybody's guessing under the sun. Uh, some people do think that fifth title is going to be the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Now, I don't know. I'm not going to say one way or the other. I have a little inkling based on some of the information I have, but 
I'll wait till it comes and I can dive into it and then do an early reveal of what it is when it shows up here for me to review. And that'll be exciting at that time. So I don't really wanna ruin anything or make it something that, hey, I say one thing and it's not that and somebody's disappointed. But I will tell you in this box set it has five films. Now the first four films that are in it are Rosemary's Baby, Pet Cemetery, and this is the original Pet Cemetery, Crawl, and Smile. And then like I said, the fifth film is a mystery hidden title. These are limited edition releases. So Paramount has said directly, they're not gonna reprint these later on. It's gonna be a big box set with a bunch of goodies, pin, book, a really nice book from Fangoria that I'm excited to read. It's got a bunch of cool stuff in it, special limited edition cover artwork, slip covers, and a box. And you'll see that above in the artwork where I announced it up above that you can check that out. This is one of those though, if you're wanting to get this and you don't wanna miss out on that fifth title in case it's not released later on, do not wait long to pre-order your copy. I put the direct links to pre-order right down below, but like I did say, Paramount did reach out to me directly and ask me, hey, would you wanna review this early on your channel? I said, yes, definitely. Send it to me early. I'll be excited to dive into that for all of you. So make sure to subscribe down there so that way you don't miss out on any of this content here. Now, continuing October 24th, we have one that I'm personally excited for. This is Godzilla from 1998. Now, does it fit in with the Godzilla films themselves? No, I look at it as its own thing, but I really enjoyed it. I look at it more or less and I know this is gonna sound odd, but kind of in the vein of Jurassic Park, basically a big dinosaur type film. I really enjoyed it in 1998. I love the epic scale of it, and I still really enjoy the film today. But here's what's unique. Sony is going back to a lot of their releases previously. This is one of them that they are doing a brand new 4K transfer with Dolby Vision. This is where they go in and they basically take their original scans and the work they did and they do some additional work. They add Dolby Vision and they work on the transfer, higher bit rates and all of those extra goodies. They do things like even working on some of the instabilities on film grain and giving more stability on that and some of the smudges or maybe little things they missed on the last release, they fix. They really make these the ultimate way to own them. Here's the downside. They are very limited edition releases. So this Godzilla set is being released in a limited edition steelbook. Once it sells out, as most of you know, these Sony releases go fast. Once it sells out, it's gone. And this has that new transfer on it, not the old transfer. Now, if you wanna know more about what Sony does with these limited edition transfers versus their previous Sony releases, you're gonna wanna check out my review video where I reviewed The Mask of Zorro and Air Force One. I went into and did all of my testing and analysis on that. And I shared with all of you exactly what it is, the difference between the first release on 4K and the new release in that video. So I did 4K versus 4K. So that way you know exactly what it is that Sony does, why these limited edition steelbooks sell out so fast versus the original transfers they did in the standard cases. They are different transfers. They do look different and they have a lot better looking image and quality on them than what the previous 4K releases had on them. I appreciate what Sony's doing because they're going into a niche. Basically what they're doing is, they're saying the average person might buy just the regular transfer because it's cheaper. Then they're going back in and saying, hey, years later, we'll go back, we're gonna do extra work. We're gonna do specialty work to make this look pristine, the best it possibly ever could. Every little thing, adding in every little bell and whistle, just like the Dolby Vision that was missing on the previous release. We're doing that work and releasing it in a limited edition steelbook set. I collect every single one of these because I absolutely love the little upgrade, it is really a more niche thing, but it is so cool and I love the transfers. And they do look noticeably better than the previous 4K transfers so far. So this is one I am excited for to add to that limited edition Steelbook collection that Sony releases. Now, continuing October 24th, we're getting Meg 2, The Trench. This is the sequel to the original Meg, and this one kind of takes on more of a Jurassic Island experience. It has dinosaurs in it and things like that. And it did come out in 2023, and as far as the transfer goes, it is getting a Dolby Vision HDR10 Master along with English Dolby Atmos. The Dolby Atmos, I'm excited to check out, see how Warner Brothers did with that on this release, because it is one of those that had some pretty darn cool effects. 
I'll be curious how they implement the Dolby Atmos and if it's a really immersive Dolby Atmos mix. Continuing same day and date, we're getting Decision to Leave. Now this film originally came out in 2022. This is a unique 4K release. It is the first ever release from Mubi on 4K Ultra HD. Now I did reach out and talk with them a little bit. I did ask if they were going to send that for review. It is their first ever release. They said they have very few copies and that basically they're not sure who they're gonna send any to at the moment. If it shows up for review, I'll do that review for all of you. But basically they're a very small studio and this is their first ever 4K Ultra HD release ever worldwide. So this is one of those. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. On October 24th, we're also getting this massive four film box set of the Toxic Avenger Collection. Now, these films ran from 1984 to 2000. So that's where all four films were based through. Now, these are getting brand new 4K scans and restorations by Vinegar Syndrome. So these will be very interesting because Vinegar Syndrome does an amazing job with a lot of their 4K restorations. They are one of those in-house studios that I'm very impressed with. And they do send things early for review and I get those in and do those for you guys quite often here on this YouTube channel. Now, all four films are going to have brand new HDR10 masters. So they will have HDR10 on them as well. So I will tell you the films themselves were not filmed with big budgets. They were very low budgeted films. So I know this restoration and the work they're doing is gonna look the best the films ever have. But to be honest with you, if you've ever seen any of these films, they looked horrible, very poor, very bad looking, uh, that honestly, whatever upgrade it is, it'll be amazing over how they've looked all previous Blu-ray, DVD releases, VHS. They were just absolutely horrible films looking wise. So I'm assuming this restoration is gonna be a revelation for this set, but this is a big box set that's coming out. And it is one of those, if you're wanting to pre-order, I put that direct link down below. Now, any of these you're excited for that you're gonna buy or you wanna to add to your collection or that you're gonna pre-order, Make sure to use those links I posted right down below. I've done all that work for all of you. As always, those links down there are very important to this YouTube channel. If you're gonna buy or pre-order any of these, always use the links I post below every video. Those are always the direct sale links and they never cost you, the viewer, even one penny more. Those links down there are on sale for the same price as everywhere. And when you click on those, it helps to support the creation of these videos just a tiny bit. If you wanna help to support this channel, make sure to join my Collector's VIP Club. That costs you, the viewer, less than a buck or two every month, but helps me to be able to afford to keep creating all this content. As most of you know, it's very time consuming and expensive for me to create these. Special effects, exclusive image comparisons that I do, all of the computer equipment and software cost time and money for me to spend doing all of these. The only way I can always do this is through you, my viewers and subscribers support, through using those Amazon links I post down below and joining the Collector's VIP Club. So make sure if you wanna support this, join my Collector's VIP Club. I wanna say thank you to all my current VIP Club members. I truly do appreciate every single one of you. You drastically make a difference to this channel and mean a lot to me. As always, make sure to go down there and give this video a like and a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I'm working on a lot of exciting things, but it does take a long time, as most of you know, for me to actually watch everything, test it, and analyze it. And that is why every video takes me longer to create than what everyone else does. Because I don't get to just watch the first few minutes and throw up a video saying, hey, I watched a few minutes of it, here's my review. I actually have to go in and test and analyze the entire release. But as always, that's something I do for all of you. So make sure to support this channel. As always, I truly hope all of you have a blessed day. I've always got something new, early, exclusive, and exciting coming out very soon.